And I'm surprised they haven't dived in after me. Just fall on top of me. <laughs> I'll be their cushion and provide them food as they eat me. Because usually the walkers in the Walking Dead universe aren't that smart. They're just like, oh, a person! And they do that. <laughs> Good job, Nancy. Clementine, can you hear me? If you can hear me, just get back to the house, okay? I'll meet you there. I'm taking the scenic route. Don't worry about it. Shit. I wonder if I'm going to find Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles down here. Join the turtles. It'd be great. Master Splinter will teach me to be the best ninja ever. No way I can pry that open. Oh, I'm sure nothing bad will happen if I slide down here. Ah! What was that green miss? That was gross. <laughs> Beautiful. You don't say. It's a drainage pipe. I'm gonna have to drain something. Oh. Could be the way out. There's no way I could take on all of those things by myself. Alrighty then. <laughs> oh, hello. Hang on. Let me look through here first. No, oh, let me walk here. Ah. Can I pry it? I'd like to move a bit faster, please. No, go. Alright, let's turn it left. Won't turn anymore in that direction. Alright, let's turn it right. Pick. Right, first of all, let's turn it left. There we go. Now let's pick it up. He shouldn't bother me as I'm walking past now. Lee, please! It's not it's not the time to spacewalk, Lee! have important matters to tend to, like drowning zombies. What's making my danger go? Alright, let's turn it left. Lefty Lucy. Oh, okay. Apparently not. Anymore in that direction. Let's go righty tighty. Oh no! <laughs> oh no 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 no! Oh no no no! 
Oh. <laughs> Time to famoose. Alright, well, this is fine. Ah. Yeah, that's, that's not. That's it. They're like a weird conga line. <laughs> simple enough. Hopefully I didn't need to take the wheel with me. Chuck, no! Oh my god. Chuck, you must have tried to hide out down here. Poor bastard. Where did you get a gun you from, must. Chuck? You must have saved I look quite great. You deserve better, old man. My wingman! Nice and easy. Yeah, not very nice and easy. Such no. I did not mean to press that button. Oh. I guess I would have alerted them anyway. Well, goodbye. Hurry up, please. Shit, broke off. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. I already tried that. They got a bunch. Please. Where am I supposed to go? Here. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna get eaten. <laughs> Help me! What's that? not paying attention to my controls which was not very helpful. No way I could pick that up on my own. What? Alright, let's take time. Can I try and grab it? That's fine, we don't need to cover it up in case other walkers come and get us. The hell? Must have been one of those old nuclear fallout shelters. Hmm. Wonder if someone's living down here. Probably. Look at all enough to keep people alive for months. It's time to loot. I'm sure I won't get ambushed and nothing bad will happen here. Hi, neighbours. Bye, neighbours. Who are you? I could ask you the same question. You barged in on us. And, and I'm the one holding the gun. So I'll ask you again. Who are you? Look, 
I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here... Are you from Crawford? They don't lie to me. I'm no. not. Where else can he be from? Everywhere else around here is dead. I'm not from around here. I'm from Athens. Grew up in Macon. I have a brother in Macon. You were there. How was it? Oh yes, it's very bad. bad. I'm sorry. You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. Shut up, lady. What do you lady. want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford Shut ever up, showed us. Shut up, lady. Think, Vernon. You're what not do being you helpful. Do if they find out we're down here, right under their feet. Damn it! You're right. I'm sorry, friend. Can't take the risk. You threaten me, old man, because you're not gonna like how he's that gonna goes. put me down. Put the fucking gun down before you really make me mad. He's bluffing. You think so? Try me. Keep back. Or I swear I'll shoot. He's gonna shoot me. No, I don't think so. I know killers. I've seen my share. You ain't got the look. And that means you ain't got the balls. Now drop the goddamn gun! Oh my god. Vernon, what have you I done? I have a vague mem I've threatened him because I have a vague memory of I tried to reason with him and each time I tried to reason with him he shot me in the face. just have to take my word for it. Who the hell are you people? Why should we tell you anything? Because now I'm the one holding the gun. Start talking. Because I'm totally going to shoot you. Well, we I might shoot the world. Or were. We got out of there when they started sealing up the place. Started weeding out the sick and the old. So their perfect survivor society wouldn't be threatened. No room for weakness or vulnerability in their little master race. No, well, so there's the old. fact that, you know, so you could be taking time bombs. My friend here asked you a question. <laughs> <Where's> <laughs> Sounds you? weird. We belong to a cancer survivors group that used to meet at the hospital here. Now we're in remission, but that wasn't good enough for Crawford. <laughs> They'd already rounded up five of us before we managed to hole up and hide down here. What is this? A morgue? Yeah. Irony's always top of my list when I'm looking for a place to survive. Now, I don't care if you have a gun or not. I want to know how you found your way down here. My group and I were up by the river looking for a boat. Now I just want to get out of here and find them again. Well, that sewer system you came through runs all over the city. It'll take you wherever you want to go. Those sewers are like a damn maze. Any chance you could help yeah, me find my no way back? Be able you expect to us to help myself. you after the way you busted in here and terrorized us? Hey, if I got in your face a little, that's too bad. All this shit that's gone down has made us all a little punchy. I just want to get home. I hear you, but we all got our own problems. Two of our people are sick and need constant care, and I'm the only doctor here. Besides, why should we help you? Look, I'm sorry if I scared you. I just want to get back to my people. Back to Clementine. She's your daughter? No. no. She lost her real parents. I'm doing what I can. You're not seriously considering going with him. It's all right, Bree. I had a daughter, too. Lost her in the first days. I'll be damned if I'll just sit back and let that Yay. happen to someone else. Even though I we said that here. I wasn't the dad. Don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. Let's go. I was going to remark on how grumpy everyone looked, but to be fair, <laughs> they're all cancer survivors and they were going to be murdered for it. So, I guess. And they're living in a morgue, so I guess they've got reason to be a bit grumpy. Oh, and I came in and threatened Clementine? to shoot in the face. Clem? Molly? Oh, hey. You made it back. I'm just casually looting in the place. Don't worry about it. <laughs> he didn't tell you about me? Understandable, I guess. I'm the one who put that beating on him when he tried to jump me back at the river. Who's the fossil? 
This is Vernon. He's a doctor. He helped me get back here after we got separated. I think you have something that belongs to me. You're welcome. Lee, thank God you're back. Krista, what's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Much worse. We have a man wounded. Who's this? Mr. He's a doctor. Don't He's worry doctor. about it. Oh, thank God. Just say the magic words, doctor, and nobody really cares if you've found a stranger. You have to help us. Please. I'll see what I can do. Take me to him. Oh, it's in the kids' room. Omid, honey, you're gonna be all right. Lee brought a doctor. All right, let's take a look at him. I work better without an audience. I'm sure you have more things of your own to attend to. All right, bye. Thanks for leading me out of the sewers. Sorry for threatening to shoot you in the face. Clementine. Clementine? Clementine, you in here? Where is she? Clem's drawings. Aww. Where is she? Clementine. Clementine? Oh, well, she's not here. She's in. She's hiding in there. Are you hiding in the cupboard, Clem? Clem, you in here? <laughs> All right, she's not in here. Uh, it's looking here. Oh, was that the room I just came out of? Clementine, no. you here? Doesn't look like it. Hello? She in here? What are you doing? Oh, you know, just poking around. You won't find anything. We already searched the place. You'd be surprised what people miss. Trust me, I've been doing this for a while. Where's Clementine? Don't ask me, I'm not her keeper. Hey, do Thanks, I look Molly. like I'm in the mood to be jerked around? Where did she go? Last I saw, she was downstairs with your redneck friend and that college kid who hangs around with him. Why don't you go bug them? Alright, thanks Molly. Time to go downstairs. Clem? Clementine? Clementine, come out, please! Kenny? Oh, hey, you made it back. Good job. Good job. Well, thanks the hell for do you the think concern. you're doing? What does it look like? Where'd you get the bottle? Found it. <laughs> First good thing that's happened since. Don't say anything. Let him drink. He, he... What the hell are you looking at? Getting oh, wasted's not gonna help anyone. Yeah? Oh, anyone. Well, what is? We are fucked. Molly said there's not a single boat left in Savannah. No way out. We got walkers all around us. That crazy fuck on the radio messing with us. Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink? Have you seen Clem? Have either of you seen Clementine? 
Thanks, Damn Katie. if I know. Gotta be around here somewhere. Ben, how did Clementine sneak out of the house? Hey, don't put all that on me. Omid took a turn for the worse, and Krista asked me to help. I'm sorry, I'm doing the best uh, I can here. Okay, I'll let you off. She was frantic, and things got kind of crazy. I told Clementine to stay put. What else could I do? It's okay. I'm not mad at you. I just want to know where she is. I think she went out to play in the backyard? On her own. With no, no one watching I'm not, her? I'm not mad Man, at you. She better be or it's your ass. Yeah, promise I'm not mad at you. <laughs> and you go straight for the throat. <laughs> Clementine? Clementine! Oh, uh, I think she's in the shed. Clem. Doors covered in vines. Don't think anyone came in through there. I swear she's in here. Mm -hmm. It's weird. Um, is, is she in the grave? She's not in the grave. Is she in the dog kingdom? She is not. Is she outside? Oh, Clem's in here. A boat. Whoa. I know, right? You happy now, Kenny? Can you stop feeling sorry for yourself for like ten seconds? Krista, how are you holding up? I'm okay. Vernon did what he could for all me, but he's got a real infection and he's running a hell of a fever. I'm worried if we don't get some real medicine in him soon. Yeah. Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? Hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? Okie dokie. Well? You want the good news or the bad news? Bad Let's news. Let's get the bad news out of the way first. Bad news is, she's not taking us anywhere the shape she's in right now. Gas tank's empty and the battery's dead. So what's the good news? That's it. That's all she needs. Some gas and a battery. Other than that, she's good to go. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? Let's go to Crawford. Sounds like Crawford is the one place that has everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Now hold on a minute. Surely we have to try? If there are people left in this city who are Thanks, still alive, Krista. who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Trust well, I wouldn't you say we should you. ask, but... <laughs> you showing up with a wounded man? Might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? We break in. Because from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. There's got to be some way we can sneak in there undetected. There might actually be a way. I know the sewer Yay. system that runs beneath Crawford. I'm coming up with good here. ideas for us. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. Yeah, actually. When did I get a map? 
Oh, it must be in the train. Yeah. I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. That's I like it. Actually, not the worst idea I've ever heard. I mean, it's close, but I don't know. Maybe it could work. I've thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So, it's decided then? We're going to Crawford? We can do this. I know it. Hell yeah, we can. Are we seriously talking about this? I mean, what about the risk? I don't know about you, kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? Of course he's in. He feels obligated to you because you got your son killed. You should go tonight, under cover of dark. But you don't know that. I'll go yet, let so. my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. <laughs> I told you to stay in your room. How long have you been there? Is it going to be dangerous? Yes. It's what's going to be dangerous? Crawford. I don't know. Mind it clear? I just don't know. I don't want anyone else to die. It's fine. Neither do I, Clem, but sometimes we have to take that kind of risk. I guess I should go get ready. Uh, no! Say what now? You said you'd need all of us to do this, and you said I'm a big help, remember? Molly said Crawford is the only mm. place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? Um, not safer. I think it'd be safer for you to stay here with Omi. But what if something happens to him while you're gone? What do you mean? He's sick. If he doesn't get better and, you know, he might try to hurt me. Ah. Uh, uh. with you? Um. Yeah. Uh, um. <laughs> Fine. Okay. You can come, but you have to promise to stay quiet and do exactly what you're Sorry, told the whole time we're there. Okay, I'm gonna go get ready. It's best I have an eye on her. She keeps having a habit of wandering off recently as well. I don't like it. <laughs> She's got a point. It's not like I don't think she'd be able to shoot a mead in the face if he turns. Check out what I found in the garage. Hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools. Ooh. Might come in handy on this little break-in. Nice. And to and mess someone's to face up. What's up? I took another look at the boat. She's a 30-footer. So? So, we're gonna have a capacity problem. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, there ain't gonna be room for everyone. What are you trying to say? Just giving you a heads up is all. Thought you ought to know. Thanks, Kenny. Unless you're threatening to kick me and Clem off, but I don't really want to go with you Who anyway. the hell is this? This is Bree. She can help us. Good. We're gonna need all the help we can get. I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. She appreciates the support. I'm glad she so quickly forgot that she wanted to shoot me in the face. Hold up just a sec. Are you ready? Ready. Hey, whoa, hold on a minute. You're not taking her with us. Did you not hear anything I said about the kind of place Crawford is? If you take her in there and they find her... I'm not leaving her alone in the house with only Omi to protect her. 
It's just not happening. For what it's worth, no, I don't think it's a great idea either. She's coming. Deal with it. You heard the man. Let's move out. It's also a good point. If someone broke in the house, the maid's not really going to be able to do anything to help. He'll hobble at them. <laughs> this should be it. We're right underneath the center of Crawford. The old school should be directly above us. Okay, people. This is it. Remember the plan. Molly's we ready to quiet. go. We stay hidden, and we stay together. We find what we need, and we get the hell out before anyone even knows we're there. Got it? And that part about staying close, that goes double for you. <laughs> A little face. Alrighty then. Open sesame. Let's go. This totally isn't obvious in the middle of the night. Does Crawford not have lookouts? Where is everybody? There should be guards patrolling. What? Are you disappointed? It's just strange. Burn and caught onto it as well then. Over there by the door. Okay. Me and Kenny will sneak up, try to take him out quiet. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. Everybody got it? Okay, Kenny, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right behind you. He says with the rifle in his hands. What the fuck? Oh. No idea. Your guess is as good as mine. Oh, sorry, Clem. <laughs> what the hell happened here? I thought this place was supposed to be secure. What always happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Oh man, we are so screwed. No, this is good. Yeah, it's easy to sneak around dead. Vernon's right. We can deal with walkers easier than armed guards. Yep. I agree. So long as we don't let them box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. You want to do a head count? Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? Come on. I think I know which way to head. Alrighty then. I got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> Just keep moving. We pulled it up, it's fine. Here. Looks okay. Everybody in.
Great place to keep Figures. an armory. Looks like they were using this room as some kind of command center. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? Here. Just give me a sec. Where would be the best place to look for medicine? Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. How do you know that? Just makes sense, doesn't it? Right. Where can we find some fuel for the boat? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. So then we just need a battery. This auto shop. It's right next door. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. Okay, I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. Watch your back. Okay, we've got a plan. Everyone be careful. Stay close to one another. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. Go team, go! Alright, Clem. <laughs> what about me? What can I do? I need you to stay here with Ben and watch over our command center. I'm putting you in charge of it, okay? You're leaving me with Ben? I'm not leaving you with Ben. <laughs> I'm leaving him with you. Understand? Oh, okay. <laughs> Back before you know it. That was a weird face. I don't think I have much to look at. Nothing but crayons and construction paper. Hey, you need any help with that? Thanks, I got it. Just once, I'd like to do something useful, you know? You're plenty useful. Huh, <laughs> yeah, right. Seems like all I ever do is get us into trouble. I mean, it's true. Well, uh, I'll let you get on with it. But at no, least he's wait. aware. There is something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the no, truth. No, that's Come on. such an awful this again? idea. It's my fault Duck and Katya got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? He will murder your I face. Yeah, I'm not telling- I'm not- I guess you've got your own problems. Look, don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm not swaying I your opinion either way. <laughs> it's all on you. Where's my Clem? Hey! You okay, Clem? Yeah. This no, desk not. is just like the ones we have in my school. I know it's weird, but I kind of miss it. Being in school. Oh, it's a sense of normality, I suppose. Me too. I used to be a teacher, remember? Tell you what, when we find ourselves a safe place, set up a little classroom. Just you and me. Will there be homework? <laughs> no homework. Do you think things will ever be normal again? Just like the way they were before? Probably not. 
we want Cat said. Sleepy, but we all have to believe they will. Remember what Katja said back on the farm? She said we'll all be home soon. And now she's dead. But we're not. <laughs> Thanks, Clem. We have to keep hope alive, too. Bring down the mood. It's the one thing none of this can take away. Ah, it's so okay. they were the ones system sitting the system up. Final solution. It's interesting. Ah, uh, okay. So it's a little bit different, I suppose. So the initial things I got right, uh, didn't number of walkers, yeah, number of citizens brought to class, okay. Alright, so it's kind of a similar system to what they used in Fear the Walking Dead, that's interesting. Only the... Creepy. Uh, yeah, 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 a bit creepy. Okay. Might come back for these later. Any reading material would be nice once we get on that boat. Yes, I suppose. Yeah, instead of number of infected, is it number of infected? No, instead of number of um, killed, it's number of found ill and then killed, <laughs> rather than found dead and then killed or infected. Rather, you know what I mean. All we want to see is the medical conditions might be to close to the cancer or children under 14. Oh, hang on, I want to read that. Well then. 14 though, that seems a bit of a steep. Must be the guy who ran this place. Looks like he figured himself as some kind of supreme leader. What's his name? I didn't pay attention. I was too busy thinking how 14 seems to be such a... No! Ah. Fourteen seems to just be a bit higher. So, you know, people younger than fourteen could be helpful. It's anything. If anything, the younger the better, because then you can raise them up into the apocalypse, and they're kind of used to it. They know what's what as long as you teach them correctly. The alleyway to the auto shops down here. You coming or not? Yeah, yeah. Quit your whining. They've already been fired. They're worthless. Amazing. Sure, I'll get it. <laughs> <laughs>